arrow, Warwickshire, sure, 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 Warwickshire, sure, Warwickshire, sure, 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 Warwickshire, sure, sure, Warwickshire, sure, 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 Warwickshire, sure, 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 Warwickshire, sure, sure, Warwickshire, sure, 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 Warwickshire, sure, sure, Warwickshire, sure, sure, Warwickshire, sure, Warwickshire, sure, sure, Warwickshire, sure, 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 Warwickshire, sure, 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 Arrow is a village in the Stratford on Avon district of Warwickshire, England. Together with the entirely rural hamlet of Weathley, it forms since 2000 for the civil parish of Arrow with Weathley. The parish lies midway between Redditch and Evesham. From Alcester, the river Arrow flows southwards to the Avon, and to the west of the river, the present road to Evesham joins that to Worcester at a busy junction where, near the old toll house, stands the hamlet of Arrow, a group of modernized black and white farm workers' cottages which have risen up the social scale to become homes for business people. History In 710, according to the chronicles of the Abbey of Evesham, Sealred, King of Mercia gave land in Arrow to the Abbey. It was subsequently wrested from them but regained by Abbot Agely Roman II 1077, only to be lost again to Odo, Bishop of Bayeux, FN 15, who at the time of the Domesday survey held 71-2 Hyde's Arrow Mill, was mentioned in the Domesday Book, and is now a hotel and restaurant, as well as a working water mill. Manners There were originally three manors, Arrow Manor, Ragley Manor, and Oversleigh Manor. In the 12th century, William de Campbell of Clifton, Staffordshire, acquired the manor of Arrow through his marriage, and it remained in that family and its cadets until about 1500 when it passed by marriage to Sir Hugh Conway, k &T. In the 17th century it became united through this family with Ragley Manor. The latter was held in 1370 by Sir John Ruse, k &T. In October 1591 it was sold to Sir John Conway. Thereafter, Ragley became the principal seat of the Conway family in the 17th century, and follows the same descent as the Manor of Arrow. In the village are the gates to Ragley Hall, which has been home to the Marquess of Hertford's family since the mid-18th century. At the Domesday survey, the Count of Mullen, later created Earl of Leicester, held three hides of land in Oversleigh, and, until the close of the Middle Ages, the manor remained part of the honor of Leicester. In 1086, Folk held the estate, but it later passed to one of the second Earl of Leicester's officials, Ralph Le Boatler, who built a castle, or more likely wooden stockade there, making it his principal seat. In the middle of the 12th century, the Earl and Ralph jointly founded the Monastery of Alcester, and granted to it lands in Oversleigh in 1140. On the death of William Le Boatler in 1369, Without male heirs, the manor passed to his daughter Elizabeth, wife of Sir Robert Furrers Cainty. In 1482, Oversleigh passed to Sir William Gascoigne of Gawthorpe, Yorkshire. In 1537, Sir William Gascoigne and his son Sir Henry sold the manor to Sir Thomas Cromwell. After Cromwell's attainder, Henry Roman VIII granted Oversleigh in exchange for lands in Bedfordshire to Sir George Throckmorton of Cofton. K &T, who had been anxious to acquire it for several years. From this time, the manor follows the same descent as Cofton. Oversleigh was a valuable and extensive manor comprising also, in 1566, the present parishes of Exhall and Wixford, part of Grafton and part, at least, of King's Broom. Charles Turberville, 1767-1811, of the ancient Anglo-Norman family, was farming at Oversleigh when he married at Alcester in October 1791. He is buried at Arrow. Church The parish church of the Holy Trinity consists of a chancel, with a north chapel and vestry, nave, north aisle, and west tower. The building dates from the 12th century, but the only evidence of this period is the south doorway, which may have been reset at a later period. The nave has windows of the end of the 13th century, and the chancel appears to have been rebuilt from early to mid-14th century. The west tower is said to have been added or rebuilt in 1767. In the tower is one bell, by Henry Bagley, 1657. The north aisle was added in 1865, and the rest of the building restored. 
the nave 49 fort by 20 fort has a north arcade of three bays. In the south wall are three windows, the easternmost dating from about 1300. The west wall has a Tudor doorway. There are several tombs within the church of the Conway family, for centuries lords of the manor here, including Henage, an infant son of Edward, by Count Conway, who died in 1660. In the village church is a statue of one of the Marquesses sculpted by Prince Victor of Hohenlohe-Langenburg, a nephew of Queen Victoria. There is a churchyard graveyard surrounding the church. Governance Arrow with Wheatley Parish falls under the local government district and parliamentary constituency of Stratford-on-Avon and the Church of England UCs of Coventry. In popular culture, during the third series of the BBC drama Peaky Blinders, the main character Thomas Shelby is shown to have made his fortune and moved out of the city to the fictional Arrow House, actually Arley Hall in Cheshire.